Well, today on Nation, a window cleaners podcast, we're breaking down buying your first water fed into five simple questions. So if you wanted water fed, you think it's time to get into it, stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. What's up? If it's your first time here, have a look around. Of course, six years of content, lots of things to binge on. Uh, Some episodes better than others, but uh, go back, watch, listen. It's anywhere podcasts are found and, of course, on YouTube. Also, um, if you haven't yet, I'm going to give you the shameless plug, but I am a rep for windowcleaner.com. It's what I do. So if you find any value in any of the videos or content or anything I put out and you want to give me like a virtual high five, let me put your orders in. I want to be your rep. Literally, every order. Let me put that in. It's as simple as texting me and being like, yo, Jersey, it's in my cart. If you're logged in, just click save this cart and I can see it. My number is 862-312-2026. Save it in your phone. It's easy to text, easy to call. I want to make it as easy as possible. And now you got somebody in your back pocket for all of that. Shameless plug done aside. Of course, today we're talking about water fed. Um, That's going to be a big one. But if you haven't yet also gotten your subscription to the American Window Cleaner magazine, what the heck are you waiting for? Go to awcmag.com. Get the magazine. Get the stickers. It's a paper magazine to your door. Amazing with posters and everything else. Um, Nerd out. Go get it. Uh, Go right now and do that. Uh, And as a side note, uh, I'm all over a bunch of other podcasts other platforms and things like that, TikTok and all that. But I have my own YouTube channel that we're going to be blowing up with content. So go and check that out. It is WCR Nation, Jersey WCR Nation. Uh, find it and subscribe to that. It costs you nothing to subscribe, but it means the world to me. Anyway. Okay. All of that aside, today, that's what we are actually going to be talking about. Is buying your first water fit. Uh, water fed is a technology. It's a little bit tricky to understand what is good, what is not, what can you do, what can you start with, all that good stuff. Because you can't just go to like Best Buy and be like, yes, I'd like to see your water fed. You can't. So all you're doing is going to websites like windowcleaner.com, um, maybe some competitors, which I hope you've learned your lesson. But maybe you are looking at everything that's out there and you say, okay, listen. I'm new into water fed. I'm getting my first system. Maybe this is a new business for me. Maybe I am uh, younger and I'm, I'm trying to get this in easy. I need to stay off ladders, but I just I need a system that works for me. I'm not going to pay a million dollars for it. I don't need everything. It's my first system. How do I get into it? It's overwhelming, right? And that's completely, completely understandable. Think about this. If you go buy a car, there is literally a million options i mean with just one car say you want a honda civic there's a civic ex there's a civic type r there's a civic se or whatever there's all these different models and then in each model you have different colors you have different trim packages you have different interiors different options but because you kind of understand cars when you go to buy a car you know that's cool you don't look at it and go okay well i'm so overwhelmed there's a million choices what do i pick But you do in WaterFed because it's new, it's a technology you don't really understand fully sometimes until you get it kind of in your hand. Like, what's the difference between a $3,000 pole, a $6,000 pole, whatever, and like a $650 pole, right? So it's a bit extra, but I'll tell you, within this 30 minutes, you're going to be an absolute pro and you're going to be calling me and being like, okay, cool, I'm ready, let's do it. And it's a huge step. And I'll tell you, I have been a window cleaner. I've owned my company for 16 years. Long, long time. Out of that, probably 15 of it, I've been in water fed. I've been in water fed a really long time. Like before carbon fiber was a thing. It was carbon composites, like DI tanks and, and RODI started coming out of the ton. I know some of you have been even in it even longer. But I've gone through a lot of it. I have owned or used every pole that exists to man that I'm aware of. There's some like Amazon junk that is just like junk that I've never tried, but like everything else. I'm sitting in an office right now. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine 
water fed poles like sitting right there. Like I'm in it. I know the stuff. I know the gear. And if you haven't talked to me yet about any of this stuff, um, I am going to give it straight. If something is not good, I'm not going to tell you it's good. Understand that as a rep for windowcleaner.com, we do not make any more money to sell one brand or the other. We do not get told what we like. We do not get told, hey, this week we're going to be quotas on none of that. All we do is we're like a resource, right? Sure, I know some things and I would love to tell you some things and I want to help you make this easy. I want to be your, your rep. That's what I do. I want to make your job easier and I want to make you successful. That's literally what I do. So if you ask me, hey, do you like Wagtail? I'm not going to tell you yes, because I don't. <laughs> but anyway, same thing with Waterfed, right? So when we talk about different equipment and different all that, there's the difference between fact and there's the difference between opinion. And online, there's a lot of opinion, but what I'm going to give you is absolute fact. And I'll tell you if it's an opinion. Anyway, okay, here we go. We're jump, jumping into it. And the first part of Waterfed is what can it do? What I, I know I want to get into Waterfed. I know everybody's talking about it. I know some people are hating on it. I know people call it splash and dashing or whatever. And I know people say it doesn't do good. What can it do? What can it not do? Absolutely, 100%. It can do anything. A scrubber and squeegee can do anything. It can do it not only faster, it can do it better, and you don't have to do, get on ladders to do it. But it is a replacement for a scrubber and a squeegee. Now, if you have paint or you have like crusted on hard water, is it going to do something? No, absolutely not. But either is a scrubber and squeegee. Like if you got paint on a window, you're not going to squeegee paint off unless it's still wet and that's just weird right? What it is going to do is you're going to pull out a razor, you're going to pull out uh, an abrasive, you're going to pull out something for deep scrubbing, like attachments and stuff like that. Yes, that is all available in Waterfed, but don't be under the assumption that Waterfed is like this magical does everything. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you, Waterfed, when you see somebody who hates on Waterfed, A, they got the wrong gear, or more likely, find out if they actually own it. The answer is no. Guys that don't own it, it's expensive. And it's cool if you don't have it. It's just a tool. But if you don't have it and you don't understand, you yeah, I can do so much better, like traditional. With a scrubber and squeegee, you can do better? Yeah. Well, then your pole's too floppy. Like your brush is too worn out. Like, okay. That's like saying I have a Pulex Micro Tiger that's 10 years old. And uh, it doesn't work. Yeah, no kidding. It's worn out, right? I always think it's funny, these guys that come out and say, oh, I do spin circles over you. Would you? Would you? No. Let me pick the water fed, the system, the pole, and the brush, and then see if you can run circles around me. Well, that's not fair. No, I'm talking. Okay, stop. So you had just admitted that obviously there's a difference. So that's where you see a lot of the hate is people just don't own it or they don't understand it. And that's totally cool. Totally, it's just a tool, right? It's like Chevy and Ford. Like one person loves one, hates the other. It's totally fine. But I'm telling you as somebody who's used it, I could never be a window cleaner again without water fed. It is the absolute biggest and best tool we've ever had in our industry. And if you're getting into it for the first time, you will never ever go into not having or using water fed again if you give it an actual like chance, right? Another thing with uh, water fed is yes, um, the stiffer the pole, the better the scrub, the better the brush, the better the scrub, the better the tools, all that stuff, the better it is, but the base stuff also still works, right? So what can it do then? If we said it can do everything a scrubber can do, you're scrubbing the frames, you're scrubbing the glass, you're rinsing all of that, right? When it, the whole process is done, it's like a spot free rinse in a car wash. You rinse it with water that has nothing in it. Like people who, uh, we get this daily probably. Somebody goes, oh yeah, I just got this system and it's leaving spots. There's something wrong. Oh, what's your TDS? So my TDS is zero. Then it's not leaving spots. You are leaving spots. Like you have to do it right. It's like 
you know, if you use a squeegee wrong, it's going to look like crap. Like that's the truth, right? You have to do it right. There's a way. That's technique. You'll figure that out. I'm here to help on that too. But understand that it does amazing work and it does it super fast. It does it easier. It does it safer. It's amazing. As amazing as it People say that's exactly what it is. And another side note, if you have employees or you're thinking about employees or even that's in the plan, you can have an employee on a water fed pole and within an hour, you can have them making pretty close to like the normal hourly rate, which is phenomenal. You can't do that on a squeegee. There's a big learning curve, right? You also can't use a water fed in someone's living room. So you still might have to use a squeegee, right? It's not an end all, but it's an amazing tool right? But now you're sitting back and looking, okay, okay, shut up. I'm sold. I get it. But what do I get? I'm looking at all this stuff. I'm new. I want to get into it. I want to buy the cheapest thing to get into it. Now, hold on. That's not quite how Waterford works. There is a lower priced option in the class you need to be, but there is a class. Think about it like this. If you have a pickup truck and you're not towing anything, you can get the smallest pickup truck you have. that just need it for groceries maybe, right? But if your job is moving cement, blocks, uh, a 30-foot trailer, right? If your job is to move a crane, you can't get any truck. You have to get the truck. You can't go, well, yeah, I want to move this, this crane, but uh, I got to get into this cheap. Okay, well, there's a cheaper version of that truck that you need but you can't just buy a, a ford ranger no matter what the internet tells you right that's what water fed is now we're looking at systems first the systems there's two types that's it lots of variations but two types there's a di only and there's an rodi now a di only is the ones that look like a scuba tank or the unger hydropower right we have uh, one called a double di cart it's on wheels now, a DI system ranges anywhere from, say, $350 all the way up to $999. And obviously, you can go way up above that if you get some fancy stuff. But that's kind of the range. And people go, well, that's cheaper than RODI. That's what I want. Okay. A DI only will only work properly in a soft water area. Most of the country is not in soft water. You want to check your water. I could do that for you. Let me know. But... Most of the country's in hard water, which means you need an RODI, not a DI. And people go, whoa, I'm in harder water. I use a DI perfectly fine. Well, cool. If you're in an area that is not ultra hard uh, and you're harder than it should be, you could technically use a DI tank, especially the bigger ones you get, the more resin there is to filter it. By the way, resin's like sand. Think about that. And each piece of sand takes out some of the water, right? But... The problem is, is that if you have, say, an Unger Hydropower, which is one of the smallest, most expensive resins, if you're in a hard water area, a very hard, say you're in Utah, and you're using that, it will last you two hours. Maybe two and a half, but two hours. And that bag of resin you're replacing every two hours is $97. Okay? At that point, you're spending $50 an hour just to use the equipment. That makes no sense. That makes no sense at all. I could have how many employees doing that same job traditional and save money, right? So that makes no sense. You want to go efficient to make sense while doing the work. That gets into RODI. Now, if you're in a hard water area and you're like, well, what's the cheap best system? There is no cheap best. That's not a thing. But there is a lower price and a higher price. And I'll tell you, now we're into RODI. It's just the filtration for harder water. Those are the systems you can start at about $1,600 in that ballpark for the system. That filtration is running basically on hours and months. So your pre-filter, there's three parts. Instead of that two hours, you'll never ever have to change anything after two hours unless something weird happens. Your carbon filter is 13 bucks. You're changing that after two months. That's time, two months, $13. That's eight hours a day. The resin that's in that system is $35 for that single change, and that will last you probably between, um, if you're really, really hard, maybe a month, but like standard about two months before you're changing that. So you're running a system eight hours a day for two months and spending about 50 bucks. 
which that's two months versus two hours, right? So the difference between the system, which the hydropower will say it's under 600, but 600 to 16, it's a thousand dollar difference. You're like, yeah, but I'm new. I don't need the, are you going to spend $50 an hour to use it? Or are you going to spend $50 every two months to use it? Right? So that makes more sense. Now, in the two classes between a DI and an RODI, most people needing the RODI, there is super fancy. There's a $13,000 system. And even more than that, in a hydro system, it's like a truck mounted super gas engine. Bot, but you don't need that. What you need is a quality system that can get you the water. All of them do that. What ends up happening is that you need a difference between your RODI and how tall you have to go. A standard flow system gets you about 30 to 40 feet. That's like the zero pier, the Tucker um, uh, RODI, the S4, the EcoCart, the IPC Eagle Standard, like the PWP, all those main systems are all gonna be producing the same. It's about half gallon a minute and a typical pressure, no pumps, you're gonna get about 30 feet. Now, if you said, well, yeah, but I'm doing five-story, six-story building. I'm going to run two people. Now you're into a high-flow system. That's going to be different, right? When we talk about this, it's a couple questions that I can get you figured out exactly what you need, right? High-flow systems produce more water in the same exact setup. But that's it. You have two types of systems. Lots of options in those two types, but you have a DI and an RODI. Now, as a side note, my favorite brand is Zero. You know that. And we sell a ton of it. I stand behind that with my entirety. And it also has the most incredible warranty, 12-year warranty on that system. Like a real warranty, not like a manufacturer defect. Like, well, call us and we'll probably say no. No, just did something break? Cool. We'll send you another one today. On top of that, it is the least expensive non-proprietary out there. Anyway, we'll talk systems. But now you got that. You, you need the pole. The pole is what does the work. You go, oh, yeah, I see that. But man, you have a $7,000 pole. What, what, what? Okay. Poles, don't buy anything that's not carbon fiber, first off. Right? Carbon fiber is like the very lowest grade. You can get different grades of carbon fiber. But don't get aluminum. Don't go on Amazon and buy a pole. They're junk. Don't do that. The pole is what does the work. Right? If every system produces pure water, I need to get the pure water to the window, but I need to scrub the dirt off the window. What if it doesn't work? Because you bought a crappy pole. You have a brush that's worn out, right? Those are what does the work. And I'll tell you, this is more into where your budget is. A $650 Zero Pro Basic, 30 foot, full carbon fiber, also has a 12 year warranty, great works and does the exact same thing that the destroyer class does and that for the same 30 foot is like sixteen hundred dollars but the difference is the stiffness stiffness in poles does this if i'm scrubbing a window and i'm putting 10 pounds of pressure on that pole to scrub in a flexible pole you lose all of that going up in that bend right uh, when it gets to the top the brush only has maybe a pound on the glass and it's flopping all over Who's this thing doesn't work. Of course, you have like the floppiest pole. If you could have a pole made of diamond and it didn't cost a billion dollars or weigh a billion pounds, that would be the best option because if you put 10 pounds of pressure, 10 pounds would be on the brush. Your scrub would be 10 times better than the one that you're using. But this all gets in your budget. Does a basic grade work? Yeah, absolutely. And we sell more of those than any. But if you have a budget, the stiffer the pole will always be better. Always be better. Because that's where the scrubbing power comes from. That's what's doing the work. It's removing the dirt on the glass and the frames, and that's what's doing the work. Any pole delivers the water. Any system produces the water. At different costs, yes. Right? So the pole comes down to budget. If you need to get 30 feet, and that's max, the regular basic grade will work perfectly fine. A basic grade cannot go over, say, 40 feet. Yes, technically it can, but I would never use it over 40 feet. It's way too floppy. You go then into the next class. You have carbon fiber, high mod carbon fiber, ultra high mod carbon fiber, and then you get into like Kevlar blends and things like that that don't really exist in the pole world, right? 
Ultra high modulus carbon fiber is the stiffest, lightest option combination, right? But something like the Delight Pole, which is my personal favorite pole right now, is $2,100 for a 47-foot pole. That's the only option that comes in. But it's super light and super stiff. That all comes down to your budget. The other thing is, is that, remember, this isn't the last time you're going to buy stuff. So if you buy a pole, you're like, man, I could save $1,000 on this pole. Do it. It's still going to do what you need it to do. Maybe not as good, but the next system, go buy the bigger, stiffer pole if you need. Right? The pull all has to do on what you're doing. If you're trying to get up to super tall or you're trying to get up, you know, say you're trying to get 90 feet, which ugh, sucks. We sell a pole at 90 feet. Yeah, it sucks though. It really sucks. Imagine holding a 90 foot pole. But there's only one pole that can do that. Anything else will break at that height. So all depends on what you're doing with it, right? And there are poles that are shorter, uh, the micro series versus the pro series. And you can add sections to a lot of these to go up a little bit taller if you need. Again, we'll talk. We'll get that kind of part figured out. But that is the simplistic side of the poles. And now what do you do? I got the system in the pole. Am I good? Technically, yes. Any pole that we sell can connect to the system directly. But remember, pole hose, the hose that runs up the pole to deliver the water, is only about 10 foot longer than the pole. So if you connect it to the system, it's fully extended, you're 10 foot away from the system. Every window, you're moving everything. So what you wanna have is what's called a feed hose. That's just a hose going from the system to the pole. We don't talk about the garden hose going from the spigot or the house to the system, that's something you do. But what we have is a feed hose. The best option is a three ace hose that goes from the system to the pole hose. Now, that is 50 foot, 100 foot, 150 foot. We have it on reels, we have it not on reels, but what that is is a rubber hose that's a little bit bigger than the pole hose. It allows more flow. If you ran just the skinny extension cord looking stuff, you're choking out your system. Why do that? I want all the flow I can. Go a little bit bigger on that. So you got the system to the feed hose, three A's, to the pole hose, and out of the brush. Okay? Perfect. I have all that. Does it work? What else do I need? All you need to do that are those three things because poles, you get them complete. They already have everything else. Systems already have everything that comes with that. You got your TDS meter, which is what checks the water, makes sure you're good every day. The hose connections, everything up. You're basically ready to go. Now remember, when you're looking at all of this stuff, the reason there's so many different options is because there's so many different things people need to do with them. There's so many different things that uh, project people are working on or sizes or heights or amount of people. You know, you can go with high flow systems, you can go with whatever, but even at a standard setup, standard meaning the Zero Pro Basic at 30 feet and the Zero Pure System and the hose. You're talking about a total of like uh, 12 to 2,500 bucks ish. Well, will this work? Yeah, absolutely. When you're looking at how much does it cost to get into it, that's what you're looking at. Is if you're in a hard water area and you got a budget, where should my budget be? $2,500 is a great start. 25 to 3,000 is a really, really, really good start. Now you'll see sales and stuff. There's a sale, when I'm recording this right now, there's a sale on a package called the Ultimate Package. It has all of that stuff. It has uh, extra brushes and whatever. It's like $620 off right now or something. That gets you to $3,000 and that is absolutely everything. All the attachments, all the, you don't need that. But if it's on sale like that, it might make sense. Are you going to be disappointed that you bought that versus spending $10,000, $15,000? Are you going to be disappointed if you buy a Honda Civic or a Ferrari? Well, sort of. I mean, if speed is your thing and luxury is your thing and whatever in the car world, then yeah, I guess then you'd be sort of disappointed. But not everybody can buy a Ferrari and not everybody needs a Ferrari. Maybe some point in your life you'll want one, but no. If you're just trying to go to the grocery store, if you're just trying to get the kids to soccer practice, 
A Honda Civic does fine. That's water fed. We just simplify it down and say, if you're just trying to get up there, two, three stories, typical houses and hard water, yeah, $2,500, $3,000, you can get a great system, you'll never look back. The next system might be a Ferrari. The next pole might be a Ferrari. There's a reason that we sell 90, well, I shouldn't say that, 85% of everything we sell is in the basic grade carbon fiber. It's because that's like the working man's pole. Best bang for your buck. It's a $650 pole that does awesome. We sell a ton of the super stiff stuff. And if it's in somebody's budget to do it, it makes sense. But if it's not your budget, don't kill yourself because you don't have that. When we go to attachments, we talked about the system, the hose, and this pole. Boom, done. What attachments? There's like 100 attachments. Yeah. Just like in cars, you can get Bluetooth and you can get GPS and you can get sunroofs and you can get, you know, moonroofs and you can get... Are they needed? Well, no. At that point, there's three pieces you need. The system, the hose, and the pole. That's it. Those are the three that you need, air quote, need. There's other attachments you may want. Right, so we talked about before. If you got something really gnarly on there, there may be a full boar's hair brush. Scrubs a lot better than a brush that you're getting like normally, like a hybrid, but it wears a bit faster. Not everybody needs a full boar's hair brush. There's rinse bars which spread the water out when you're rinsing. There are walnut pad attachments which are for deep scrubbing. Flip on the backside, make a Y. One side's your brush, one side's this attachment. There's on-off valves that you can turn off called univalves. There are a ton of different things you can get for systems and poles and quick connects and all the bells and whistles. And do you need any of it? Absolutely not. Besides the system, the hose and the pole complete, you don't need anything. It's just wants. So we go back to that same thing where everybody goes, well, man, I, you know, if I want to get the thing, I'm not going to be, oh, man, am I going to be bummed that I, no, you're going to get the system. You're going to use it. You're going to make a bunch of money. And then after a month, six months, a year, you'll go, you know what? I think I want to add fill in the blank. It's like people buying squeegees and scrubbers. Which is the best squeegee? There is no best squeegee. I could tell you what I have as a favorite. There's no best. Well, I want to buy the best. Okay. How are you going to know which one you think is the best unless you try them? You buy different rubbers. You buy different sleeves. You buy different T-bars. You buy different towels, different soaps. You do all that in the traditional side. But when it comes to water fed, it's a little bit more panicky because you don't want to do the wrong thing. But you're just going to try other things. So there is no real wrong way. Now I told you, Zero is by the far the, the, the best option brand-wise for me. That doesn't mean the other ones are bad. In fact, there's only one brand that I absolutely despise. And it is a Chinese brand, um, most of you know, and I won't go into it. We don't sell them. It's the only brand I'm not a fan of. But by the way, I'm gonna have a link in the bottom if you're watching on YouTube. I'll have my link tree. In there, it brings you right to the water-fed stuff. I'll have packages, anything that's on sale. It's all right there. It's in the link in the description of the video. Go ahead and check that out. But call me. I seriously want to help you get into water-fed. I seriously want to be part of the reason you succeed. I would love nothing more than to just genuinely help you in this. Genuinely help you become better in your business. And that's what I do. I'm a rep. Hopefully you got some awesome information in this. If you're looking to get into water fed, I want to be the person to help you. My number is 862-312-2026. Yes, call me, text me. Ask any questions. There are no dumb questions. What is a boar's hair brush made of? Boar's hair. Boar is a pig. It's pig hair. There's no dumb questions. The only reason you don't know it yet is because you haven't asked the question, right? And when it comes time to buy, I would love to put the order in. I would love to walk you through the process and do it. Obviously, I make a cut of that or a credit, but it doesn't cost you anything extra to have somebody on your side. That's what I want to do. 
If you're new into business or you're new into water fed or heck, you've been in business a million years and you just like my stuff, let me be your rep. It's just same as plug. I know. But sometimes I got to be shameless. But really, water fed's not scary. Once you know it, once you get it into your hands, it makes things so much more easier to understand, to grip, to just see what's going on. No, it's not a fad. No, it's not BS. It is not a magic stick. You have to do it right. But man, is it so good. It is amazing. So either way, that's it for me. If you haven't yet, also go to awcmag.com. Get your subscription there. And uh, yeah, my number again. You haven't saved it yet. It's not in your phone. What the heck? It's 862-312-2026. My name is Jersey. I want to help you. And I hope you got something out of this episode. Until next week, go out there and first get into water fed. But more importantly, be epic.